That's lovely. Do come in. More of us every day. Why do you have red clothes on? Are you like a super constable? Should clear up soon, I imagine. I suppose I should come back entirely covered in rubber. Why don't you go away? Note from Madame Wanda, George. Juliet found your clover clamps. They were in the couch. I told you no one stole them. Reform club rules. Rubber cat suit at all times. School uniforms may be worn on top. Invitation only. Shock batons on low. Except by permission of Madam Wanda. No shaming except by consent. Madam's magic wand by reservation only. No baby talk. So where do I find a rubber cat suit, huh? Oh. Looks like a changing room. There we go. Wrap your entire body in rubber. Reduces electrical shock. Alarms anyone who's not a rubber fetishist. <laughs> Way to reduce electrical damage. Oh, I look like an utter perv in this suit. At least I'll fit in among pervs. On the other hand, it ought to protect me against electricity and lightning and things. Dude, you're just wearing a rubber suit. An utter perv. Where do I pick that lock? Stern governess. So I think if I talk to them, they'll probably press that button and let me through. But I am curious. <gasps> oh! There must be somebody right on the other side, right? Never mind. Lovely day for it. Oh, delighted to see you. Always nice to meet a new friend. Can I speak with you, by the way? It didn't seem like I could. No. What was that? Somebody having fun. Still Bobby Hickenbotham's credentials. Lovely day for it. I hope the baker comes back from holiday soon. Another one of these creepy statues. No one's gonna mind if I just yoink. Does somebody vomit all over the counter? What is that? Oh, there's a little play car up there. Covered in flowers. I can search the couch. That's considered stealing, though. Oh, Looks like a fun. Rome, I suppose. <sighs> they probably do do this in Rome, don't they? I can just open this door. Oh, good. Thank God it's jammed. That'd be very awkward otherwise. Oh, look at that. Right. I can take his stuff. And then I can walk across the bridge to Lud's home with his credentials, can't I? Oh yeah, it's just right there. The tickler. Nice to have a way to take people out of commission without killing them. Dear Mistress Wanda, I am so sorry about bursting into tears the other night. It was truly inappropriate when you were doing such fine work with the paddle. I'm sorry I objected to being swaddled after, especially since it was my stupid idea to have you sing. Uh, to have you sing, take the key and lock him up, my fair lady. I just meant it to be generally mocking, you know? I was not supposed to bring up old feelings in myself, let alone you. 
I'd be very grateful if you would punish me very harshly tonight. Please accuse me of being a truly wicked man. I have done things to an innocent person. Please accuse me of being a coward for not leaving the constabulary. Constabulary. A real man would do the right thing and go off the blackberry. Please accuse me of being a liar for pretending to forget. A real man would face his nightmares. Thank you, Mistress Wanda, for, for giving us the safe and private place. What would we do without you? Coming up, Roses. Did you hear? Foggy Jack got another one last night. Let's stay in. That's new. How effective are those things? Some folks enjoy a little tickle from time to time. Inflicts no damage. Not very durable. Can cause stunning. Oh. Great, right there. Ooh. Okay, I gotta keep that in mind. And also see what's up here. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Watch out for scurvy, Uncle Jack says. Wait, electric truncheon? Is that different than the tickler? It's a different name. Day for it. Did you hear? Mrs. Sapper found a bomb in her garden. <laughs> Lucky it didn't blow her up. Cool, cool. Oh, I can just zap these people? <laughs> what would that do? Like, would that be cool or would that be just weird? I mean, doing it without even asking them, without their consent, that's weird. Yeah, let's. Uh, let's not do it. Oh, this is the madam's place. Who's there? Oh, I'd love to chat, but I'm so discombobulated right now. I can't find my magic wand. I mean, I know where it is. It's in the locker, of course. But I can't find my key. And John Cleland and his friends are coming. They do so love my magic wand. Do you think you can help me find my key? I have to tidy, you see. Could you bring it to me here? Don't touch anything. It's got to be just so for my guests. Yeah, no problem. No idea where the hell I'm going to find it, though. I guess, I guess I should go down the grate. Oh no, don't look at me. Okay, they didn't mind, cool. What is this? Oh, there's somebody right there. Loose clock? What does that say? Summer 2016. Wishless today. Just threw a bunch of these creepy statues in here. Probably shouldn't have done that. I could just knock this person out in here? I should probably do that. Here, 
Go to sleep. Yeah, good enough. Theme nights. Mondays, knickers. Tuesdays, spankings. Wednesday, naughty nurses. Thursdays, pony play. Uh, oh. <laughs> Fridays, quilting. Also breath control. Saturdays, wet room. Sundays, penitence and redemption. Oh, that's definitely a pile of vomit. Oh, yeah. You know, why don't you join the pile? Yeah, this goes here. I figured it would. Oh. So that's an electric trunch and not a tickler, so it is different? Yeah, totally different stats. Really a stunning weapon. Light damage, very durable, can cause stunning. That doesn't say non-lethal damage, actually, so this might not be non-lethal. Yeah, I want to try it out, though. Whoa, two things of flash, the drug. Right, don't want to drink the water. Don't touch it. Mother cat suit. Doesn't hurt to have two, I guess. Did somebody just hear me? Someone said, what is that? Somebody right through here. Ah. Oh no. The Bobby's looking right my way. I can't do a takedown on him. Um. two people here? Did the constable come somehow? Yeah, it is the constable. No. The constable's looking this way again. Shit. Maybe... Maybe they won't hear this one. Yeah, they didn't. Where am I going to leave, though? I wasn't sure if they would see me right when I left. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Go to sleep. Perfect. Twenty sovereigns, lockpick, canteen, banger, Dixby. Um, Percy, they said you got a caning at school. Yes. Did it hurt very much? No. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes. Do you understand why? Why you... what? Well, why you got the caning. Yes. 
did you really kick a rubbish bin in Slazzy Crowden's face? No, I didn't. Right. Did you kick a rubbish bin? Yes. Did it then go into Lester Crowden's face? I... I didn't see him. I... I didn't see him. He came around the corner. He came around for... He came around the corner. Oh, that's not at all your fault then. Oh, good. I, are you being sarcastic? Yeah, I was being sarcastic. I hate it when you're sarcastic! I know. That's a list of gold members. But do not admit Light B Nick Lightbear, suspended for cause, Jack Worthing, very behind on dues. Miss Boyle is always welcome, although she no longer pays dues. I was expecting to find the key by this point. Hmm. Oh, I went past where I need to get out. Oh, there's a dead rat in here. Oh, buddy. You're just always staring at me no matter what, aren't you? Lovely weather. Ooh, delighted to see you. Always nice to meet a new friend. Mm-hmm. Okay, what am I missing then? She's lost her locker key. I wonder where it is. Just find the key. Oh, you know what? It could be like... It could be in a couch or something, you know? That would make sense. Sit down, falls into the couch. No one here anymore. There's really not many places it could be. Nice and trim. I was gonna take this electric truncheon, but not anymore. Oh, not supposed to go in there. Oh, he's gotta be in here then, right? Oh, how do I search these things, though? Damn, two syringes all over the place. Oh, this isn't the ceiling. An empty torch. Everybody's going to see me if I take this, and there's so many of them here. What can I do? Surely they'll notice me. Should I try zapping them? They like it? Okay. There's a locker key. That's really weird. That is so weird. Okay, see ya. Found your key. Oh, you're a good egg, you are. That's a big relief. Mr. Cleland does so love my magic wand. All right, off with you. Shoo. Very impatient. Black powder is now available as a recipe. Black powder formula. So you really, like, don't want to talk with me? Nothing? Electric truncheon. 
didn't say it was considered stealing. You mind if I just hang around a little bit? Can we talk? Lovely day for it. Hello there, love. Oh my god, that foot tapping. Please. A magic wand. I could use that as a sort of unbreakable head knocker. I have a feeling that's not what they use it for, though. <laughs> hmm. I don't want to steal the key, do I? Madam Wand is kind of nice. I kind of look in this direction. Oh, if I press that. Is I going to set off the alarm? What is that going to do? They said they needed the locker key, so surely that won't open it. How is this working? Just an empty pill bottle? So I could do a takedown on them. Press this button and just see what it does. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Sorry. Shh, shh, shh. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. I looted the key. Just, uh... Yeah. Oh, a couple pieces of shredded raincoat. Wait, did I need that for something? <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. I have a feeling if I don't press that button, it's gonna sound the alarm. Oh. Trap control box. Yeah, those red bar things look like a trap of some sort. <clears throat> yep, I was right. Golden knocker. I don't know what this is actually for, but it would make a very sturdy head knocker. Deals low damage, but degrades much more slowly than a regular weapon. Weighty. It's a quest item? What quest? They did say that uh, somebody so-and-so really loves the wand. I forgot the person's name, but maybe it's for them. Anyway. Yeah, alright, see ya. Everything in here went really well. Hey, good day. day for it. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I need to be careful. I'm on the streets again. Shall I go to the speaker? That's just a TV. Oh, they're not here because it's nighttime. Yeah, that makes sense. Let me head back to my place and sleep. Or, alternatively, I could head into a random house. Hmm. Perhaps I will. Uh, closer to my base, though. What is going on here? The fog has actually oh, gotten hello, worse. Love. Come stomp in the puddle with me. <laughs> it's ever so much fun. Good lord, that's Motterly. One spark and she's going to incinerate herself. I've got to get her attention somehow. Maybe a lot of pretty flowers would do it. 
One night blooming none such. Oh, I still need to go get those for them and the other person. It smells like something burned down. What? Oh no. It's just that one thing, so we're fine. Did you hear something? Oh. Now we're fine. Oh, I'm still wearing my cat suit. Should maybe change that, you know? And I have eight skill points. Sprint quietly. Mm. Damage subsequent targets. More damage hitting people. More health. Carry more. Let's go with tippy doze. Sprint quietly. Sprinting makes no more noise than walking. And then after that, reduce visibility at night, and people ignore your annoying habits. Staring, jumping, crouching, and running no longer annoy people. That would be very useful. Oh, that'd be so useful. If I just sit, would they ignore me? Probably not, right? So let's wait for them to go past. Years on joy. We'll never get them back, will we? <laughs> Access Etch is right here. I wanted to check out the house just to see what it's like looting a house at night. Let's see if we can go do that first. Oh, lost letter page. Looks like it's just a piece of it. And as you tighten the lid on, it squeaks ever so slightly as the glass rubs along the rubber, and as your rubber gloves rub along the lid. That done, you slowly, slowly strip off your rubber gloves, one by one, taking care not to get any of the water on your arms. The rubber gloves, half inside out, quiver slightly on the kitchen counter, as if they were shivering in delight. What do you want to do now, you ask? Eleanor's party's tomorrow. We promised to bring the balloons. You found balloons? Yes, I say, keeping my voice as steady as I can. Ten latex rubber balloons. The long kind you can twist into shapes. In my mind, I can already hear them squeal as I twist them, the thin rubber rubbing on itself. Hmm, they really like rubber, huh? Another note. Dear Mrs. Brown, we have the Ladies' Village Improvement Society. What does that stand for? L-V-I-S. Elvis. El wait, El- Elvis? <laughs> Would like to thank you for the many years you've done such a superb job contributing to the loveliness of our dear village of Hamlin. Although you live on your own, as so many of us do these days, the figures you've painted in your windows have given so many of us a feeling of neighborly comfort. It is good to feel watched over, 
even if the watchers are not necessarily three-dimensional. However, in the past little while, we regret to say we've noticed that your windows are beginning to deteriorate a bit. No doubt you've been terribly busy. We all have so many things to do. But it rather spoils the effect when the paint begins to flake. It no longer... Tr something in French? In particular, the adorable grandmother in the second story window to the right has lost part of her jaw and looks a bit monstrous. I'm sure this is not intentional. Indeed, who looks at their own house? And on joy, one tends not to notice uncomfortable little details. But some of us have begun to notice it, and to question why you've not seen to it. Surely you are not a secret downer, they say. Of course you are not Wait, what? Of course you are not a downer? Uh, we're positive you'll show them they're wrong by fixing up your house once again in your own inimitable style. All the best. That's very passive-aggressively suspicious. This might be the house that I tried to loot before. But anyway, yeah, let's try to loot it again. No, I don't think this is the one I looted. I don't see any footsteps. Oh, we're walking around upstairs. Why can't I see their footsteps? Hmm. Didn't work great. Did you hear something? But I didn't get caught, so Ooh, the time. Anybody? Somebody's coming. Slowly. Oh my god, how did they not see me? This won't take a minute. Okay, now there's one more person. it but let's just no no there's another one oh oh This isn't going well. Do we really have to do this? You can't hide forever. What do you want? Stop! <laughs> can't we just agree to disagree? Okay, let's check and make sure we're okay. It's 
house is large. I can even go through the window that far up. I, th I think we're good. Let's start from the top down. But there's going to be so much good stuff in here. Slice of pie. Yum. Oh, these frying pans are super heavy. I don't need them. Nor do I need that. Or the tickler? I don't think I need that. But it does have little hearts all over the place. It's also not very heavy. pin. I actually needed that to make something. Is that everything? Yeah. Oh, it's a little bus. It seems to be lit up, though. It's powered or something? So many cute little cars. Whoops. I can take these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. Oh. I shouldn't have picked up a brick. What a waste of weight. happened to you? What an awful room. Could barely even get the door open. Bunch of flour. I don't think I had any flour before this. Sugar. I smoked in high school. I could carry a bit more. Do I have the skill points to get the more weight? I don't. Dang. There, I dropped a couple bricks. Okay, let's go home. I think this that's this place looted. And yeah, there's so much loot. Okay. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. When I return, we're going to dump all the stuff in here, see new stuff I can make, sleep until it's daytime, and we don't have a curfew. So, thanks for watching. <laughs>